Okay. Now, if the, if the God who created the universe wants to intervene in the universe and overpower a natural law, can he do that? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be reacting to a student presents his whole own dilemma to Frank. Okay, this is going to be our first time giving this a try. I would love us to watch this video out together and see how it goes. So let's get right into it. He doesn't have power over um, his creation. Then? No, he does. But it would be a contradiction to say that God forces free people to do what they want to do. That would be a contradiction, right? I'm a Christian, obviously, and or not obviously, but um, so I've been kind of struggling with just a little kind of dilemma that I keep running in my head. Uh huh. Um, so if God, I, I think you kind of answered like a little bit, and I don't know if you're allowed to, because this has a little bit to do with predestination. Uh huh. But if we are, if God is just, yes, an all just God, and w he knows that there are people out there that are not saved, and he does, doesn't do anything about it, and they go to hell. Um, what does that ultimately say about God's nature? God of... knows all counterfactuals. He knows how people are going to react in any situation. And right. he wants people to be saved more than we do. Yeah. So if people ultimately do not accept Christ, it's not God's fault. They don't want to accept Christ. And even if he had gotten them the gospel, they wouldn't have accepted it. God mm -hmm. freely or God allows people to have free will to make moral choices. So, so would you say true. he doesn't have power over um, his creation? Then? No, he does, but it would be... Yeah. He, he does have power over his creation, but it gives everyone free choice to make their decision and where to stand, where to stay. If you talk about the Lazarus and the rich man, you, is the perfect example to, to explain to this man, like how it is. The example that Jesus gave during the Bible about the Lazarus and the rich man is a very vividly example to, for you to know that God really wants to save a lot of people to come to heaven. But he gives everyone free will, give everyone choice to make their own decisions. That's exactly A contradiction to say that God forces free people to do what they want to do. That would be a contradiction, right? Yeah. God can do yeah. anything that's logically possible, but God can't do logically impossible things. He can't force free creatures to do what he wants because then they wouldn't be free. True. He can't create a square circle. He can't create a one-ended stick. He can't create an honest politician. I mean, there, there are some things that God can't do because they're contradictory. Well, then wouldn't that mean he's not all powerful? No, power means he has every, he can do everything that's logically possible. Not everything that we could imagine. Like I said, he can't create a square circle. That thing doesn't exist. It's, a, it's an absurdity. All well, right? Wouldn't a virgin birth also be illogical? No, it's nothing well? illogical. We could have all been born through a virgin birth. Or healing people with touches or like hey, miracles. Hang on, stuff. hang on, hang on, hang on. I hear a lot of chatter. Um, I'm having trouble hearing him. Or um, turning water into wine. That's pretty illogical. It too. has nothing to do with logic. How is it illogical to turn water into wine? It's... It's never happened before. Oh, it happens all or, the time. I mean, it happened in the Bible, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Water goes into the ground, goes up in the grapevine, turns, it, it helps a grape grow, and that ultimately turns into wine. All Jesus did was speed it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, if the, if the God who created the universe wants to intervene in the universe and overpower a natural law, can he do that? I'm sorry. Of course he can, right? Just like, you know, we can overpower natural laws. Look, I'm overpowering a natural law right now. Gravity, right? Yeah. I'm an, I'm an agent that can intervene and overpower natural laws. Now, true, if, if, if I decide not to intervene anymore, natural laws take over. But if I can intervene and overpower natural law, can the being who created and sustains natural laws do so? Yeah, of course. That's all we're saying. And he does that in order to, to show people, you need to, you need to listen to this guy. Like that's why Moses can do miracles and Jesus can do miracles because God has new revelation that he's pouring out through those people. So the rest of the people go, oh, Moses can do miracles. 
Moses speaks for God. Jesus can do miracles. Jesus speaks for God. That's why God does miracles through those people. Okay. Um, well, that, puts, that still puts him in this box that he created for himself, I feel like. God is not in a box he created for himself. Yeah. God's nature is such that he can do things that don't contradict his nature. Like God can't go out of existence. God can't sin. We can sin. We can do things God can't do. We can sin. He can't. If he could sin, he wouldn't be the standard of righteousness. Right, because he's so, all just. Yeah, so power doesn't imply he can do anything, even logically impossible things or things against his nature. He can do whatever is logically possible. But even... An all-powerful God can't force free creatures to do what he wants them to do because then, by definition, they wouldn't be free. Okay, so you would say that um, there's, it's a little bit more free will than, like, he kind of planned all of this. So, no, both. It's both. Oh, it's both. Yeah. Okay. He knew what we would do, and when he elected this universe, he knew the outcome, but... The outcome isn't dependent completely on his choice. It's also dependent on our choice. choice. True. Okay. What we freely chose. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And that is true. This is exactly what I said about Lazarus and the rich man. Like, we all have choices. We all have decisions to make. And either you accept it or not, you have either to choose life or death, either to go to heaven or go to hell. Your, your behavior matters. And how, how you act really matters in this world. And that you are saying that we all have free choice. God gave us free choice. God has gave us will to do whatever we want. But we know what is right and what is wrong. And you know which side to pick. So God can't intervene in you choosing for the good or for the bad. God does not intervene. God watches you as you choose. But you already know which one is good and which is bad. Just like the Garden of Eden. When God told Adam and Eve not to eat from the forbidden fruits. Do you know that the fruits, do you know that the tree itself... God said the tree is bad, the tradition of from inside. But when the serpents came and spoke to them and talked to Eve that, the, that God don't want them to see what is actually in the world, God don't want to open their eyes, she was kind of like, okay, let her give the food to her husband. And her husband ate, she ate, and their eyes were open. But she knows that God questioned them about the tree. And that she, know it. she knows that the tree is bad and God told them not to eat from the tree. That is the only place that God told them not to touch, not to eat. But they know that is bad. But they choose to see go eat. They, still, they choose to see go defy God. They choose to see go eat. That is a choice. That was free will that God gave them to choose or not to choose. So if they are staying away from the tree and they didn't eat the fruit, it would be a different scenario. But they already know what is bad and what is good, but they still choose to eat from the fruit. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales on.